Hi, my name is Adam and I work for HP. Today I'm going to show you the unboxing and setup of the HP LaserJet Pro MFP M127FN. Here is the HP LaserJet Pro MFP M127FN printer. First, break the tape and pry the box open. Fold back the flap so the items can be easily removed from the box. The first items in here are your installation CDs for both Mac and for Windows. You'll want to use these when installing for the first time. This piece of paper is your limited warranty in Spanish for Spanish regions. This booklet is your multi-language installation guide for your printer, which provides basic setup and troubleshooting information. This last piece of paper talks about the benefits of visiting hp.com forward slash support, which include technical support, self-solve tools, and online assistance. This here is the input tray, which we will attach shortly. Next is the two-wire phone cable for setting up your printer to fax over a landline. And the last item in the top of your box is the power cable, which we'll show how to set up in a minute. Pull out the styrofoam and then set it aside for recycling. And with that removed, you can now remove the printer from the box. It's easiest if you set the box on its side and then work the printer out of the box. Since this printer is fairly heavy, it may be easiest to just use a little caution when you slide it out. Now you can remove the plastic from around the printer and then set it aside for recycling as well. With the plastic removed, you can then remove the tape from all sides of the printer. I start with the top and the sides and then work my way down. The tape and plastic around this printer are designed to come off fairly easy and not leave any residue on the printer. Make sure you get the tape off of both sides to get access to the cartridges later. Don't forget the pieces in here in the ADF area. Remove these pieces as well to get access to the inside of the printer. To get access to the cartridge area, you'll have to lift the top cover. Extend the output tray. Lift this piece of paper to get access to the styrofoam underneath so that you can remove it from the printer. Remove the Energy Star sticker from the front of the printer. Then I can remove the middle styrofoam piece. Now you can remove the orange plastic and paper from the cartridge access area. Then pull up the toner cartridge and set it aside. Remove any other tape from the sides and the front of the printer as necessary. Now you can move the protective sticker that's over the control panel.
Now on the toner cartridge, remove the plastic orange piece covering the contacts by lifting them straight up. This will properly expose the contacts on the cartridge so they can untouch the printer properly. Next, we will remove the protective tape by pulling the tab from the cartridge. Grab the tab in one hand and hold the cartridge firmly in the other and pull until the tape is freed from the cartridge. Now we can install the cartridge into the printer, making sure the tabs on the cartridge match up with the tabs on the printer. Once the slots and tabs line up, you can just slide the cartridge straight down until it slides into place. Close the cartridge access door and then close the top cover. Now we will remove the input tray from the plastic and remove any tape that is on it. There should only be one piece of tape holding the paper length guide down. The easiest way to install the input tray is to set it flat on the table and just slide it into the printer until it snaps into place. Then you can adjust the paper length guide and the paper width guides. At this point, we can connect the power cable to the printer. Go to the back of the printer so that you can access the power port. Then remove the twist tie from the power cable. Once the twist tie is removed, insert the power cable into the back of the printer. Once that's firmly in place, you can insert the other end of the power cord into a power source. We recommend plugging the power directly into a wall outlet, but for this video we're using a power strip. Then we turn to the front of the printer. From the front you can adjust the control panel using the tab on the side, and then press the power button to turn on the printer. While the printer is setting up and initializing, you can load paper into the printer and then adjust the paper width and length guides. Next, we will set up the language and region for your printer. Select your language using the right and left arrows and then press OK. Then choose your region or location, again using the left or right arrows and then press OK again. Now let's check to make sure your printer was set up correctly by printing a configuration report. Press the setup button that looks like a small wrench. Use the arrow buttons to scroll to reports and then press OK. Then from the Reports menu, scroll to Config Report and press OK again. The configuration pages will print, showing that you have set up your printer properly. If you would like to set up your printer to fax, you can remove the two wire cord provided with your printer and then plug it into the port on the back of your printer. The other end of the cord should plug directly into your phone outlet. Remove any plastic you may have missed earlier.
This was the unboxing and setup of the HP LaserJet Pro MFP M127NF printer.